Today I have Bobby with us, who is the Director of Recruiting at Sprinkle Support. He is an energetic and driven talent acquisition individual who loves finding the right talent for the right company because he understands how talent makes the company prosper, thrive, and grow during such hard times. Let's welcome Bobby on 10 Minutes of Hiring Wisdom, where he will tell us about what he has learned along the way and how we can implement those learnings in our day-to-day lives. Hi, Bobby. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. How was Thanksgiving? It was great. Um, didn't do a whole lot of unnecessary stuff other than just eat and be with family. Um, hopefully that was the same for you too. <laughs> it was. It was. So Bobby, can you tell us about where you work, what the company does, and what your role is within the company? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just like you mentioned, I am uh, the recruiting director here at Spinnaker Support. Um, been here um, since March of 2020. Um, I know you mentioned there was, um, you know, a lot of things that have changed since the pandemic, but I was able to start my job four days before the official pandemic hit oh, wow. and it kicked everybody out of the office. So it's been a wild ride, um, I'm sure as you can imagine. But what we do is we are uh, in the IT services uh, space. Um, we do some managed services and then IT support uh, for a lot of uh, big name players all across the world. So um, really, really good company, small company to be with, but uh, loved every minute of it. Oh, well, so how was the transition like getting into a new company, especially during the pandemic? Because the first there used to be a meet and greet, you used to go into office, meet people, and now you sit through a screen and you're just like, hi, I'm new, I joined. So how was the experience like for you? Well, I, I would say there's been a lot of things that we have learned, uh, especially that I have learned through this process, right? Like um, I'm always, I've always been used to going to the office every day, uh, being able to meet people face to face, have those uh, one-off conversations where you just go down the hall and try to figure out a solution to a problem. But now it's like, hey, if you got a quick minute, I can give you a quick phone call. Or um, you just try to ping people and get people to... Um, to hop on a, a phone call or a video call with you. But my first day was March 9th of 2020. And then four days later, they kick everybody out of the office because of COVID. Oh. Um, so so it was, the I think the biggest thing that we have had to learn and had to, and had to adjust is how do we now build relationships with people whom most of the time we have never met, right? Like I have never met, particular people face to face at my company. So how do you build that relationship? Right. And it just takes intentional time to, to, to do, um, you know, weekly rhythms or, Hey, I want to have a, a monthly phone call with you or a monthly 10 minute check-in. It's those little bits of time that you have to make to, uh, to meet and grow and uh, build relationships with people whom you've never met before in person. <laughs> Well, you made the best of it and learned as much as you can. So it worked oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long journey, definitely. But I'd love to hear, Bobby, specifically because you work in the tech space, you hire mm-hmm. candidates. And I think at first, a lot of candidates were called in the office where you could observe their nonverbal cues, you could observe their body language, see if they're a good fit for the company. So yeah. how have you taken those pitfalls into account where they can't come into office to make sure that you still hire the best talent? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a lot of the kinds of talent that we that we hire for is we we hire people who have deep industry knowledge, um, you know, uh, with a couple different of the um, uh, enterprise software services that 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 we offer. So a big part of this is in just in our normal conversations, it's going to be how well can you hold the conversation with me and keep my attention, right? So even if we're just talking, having normal conversations, you're still kind of being interviewed to find out, hey, can you can you keep a conversation with me? That, that's a big piece, right? Because um, if you're doing that with our customers and our clients, we want you to be engaging. We want you to have deep uh, skill set knowledge in your particular area. Um, and we are also um, engaging in culture too. Like the teams know the types of people and the types of candidates that they need and the skills that they need. Um, so while we're also having technical conversations, we know you'll be doing that with our customers too. So we want you to put a good uh, a, a foot forward with us, just like you'd be doing with our our clients. So in a normal conversation, it's there's there's going to be uh, things that we're picking up and it's uh, just average conversations are very important for us. 
Okay. And for example, when it comes to hard skills and everything, like specific technolo- technological skills that specific roles require, mm-hmm. what are some of the rounds that you may candidates go through to understand whether they would be a good fit when it comes to those skills? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we we try to limit our number of interviews to four max. Um, we don't want to do any more, especially in a candidate-driven market like it is now. Um, we, Very true. <laughs> we, we don't want you to lose interest with us. So so what our typical process is, it's a quick phone screen with um, someone on my team um, to talk about fit, to talk, talk about um, culture, what the role is, make sure they're, they're interested. Then we do a hiring manager interview um, where it's a little bit more like, hey, we want you to fit well on the team. Here's what we hope you can do for us in your career. Then we do a technical screen, which is usually one or two people on the team to talk about the technical expertise that we need, to talk about what they've done, how they've handled problems, um, what kind of solutions can they deliver to our clients. Um, And then at the very end, we do a culture fit. This is where like, we talk about what does the team look like? How do you like to communicate? What do you want to do in the next few years? Um, Those are kind of the cultural pieces that that we see are important but that technical piece like getting down into the dirty the nitty-gritty of the good the bad and the ugly of everyday um everyday work we want you to feel comfortable in the role before you um join us so that's part of that technical screen okay that makes sense and you mentioned that's a candid driven company so a lot of like these days a lot of hiring managers, recruiters are reaching out to candidates. So what are some tips that you would have for candidates to navigate through some of the job opportunities that are being presented to them to make sure that they can choose the best fit for them? Yeah, um, I, I, would, I would tell them to do two things. One, of, of all the companies that are reaching out to you, it's okay to have conversations with recruiters all the time. Like, just do it. It'll be good for your network. It'll be good uh, for your interview experience. It'll just be good to have those initial conversations. Even if you're just like, you know what, maybe this role is not the right fit, but I'd like to network with you and I'd like to get to know you as much as I can. Always have as, as much as your time allows you to just have that conversation. It would be, it'll be helpful for, for everybody involved. Even if it's just like, you know what? Nope, I'm out. This isn't the role for me. Uh, great. Uh, love the conversation. Um, so have as many of those conversations as you can and then have like your important values, the things that are important for you, have those questions ready to go. So that way you can ask those recruiters, Hey, what do you, what is your, um, work time off or what is your, um, work life balance or what is the flexibility that you offer? Um, right. Like I've got three kids. I'm a foster parent. Um, I need flexibility because, Uh Those things are also important to me, and I want a company that values the things that are important to me as well. So have those things ready to go in an an initial recruiter conversation. Oh, wow. Um, Congratulations on being a foster parent. That sounds amazing, and that sounds very heartwarming. It's great (laughs) to see that people are doing as much as they can and giving back, so I'm really impressed. But thank you so much, Bobby. My last question for you would be that, is your company hiring? What are some of the positions that are open so that if people are listening, they can definitely see your job page and start? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, Spinnaker Support, um, our our career site is just spinnakersupport.com slash careers. Um, we hire everything from, uh, you know, finance, marketing, sales, customer success, um, all the all the traditional um, roles that we have there. And then our technical roles are going to be more along the lines of um, IT services. So we hire a lot of database administrators. We hire um, uh, a lot of architects. Uh, we hire solutions consultants, the pre-sale sides of things. Um, so uh, we hire a little bit of everything on the IT services side. So check us out. We're a really good company to work for. We'd love to have you uh, just have initial conversations, um, even if it's not a right fit. Um, and, and we're hiring globally. So here in the States, UK, Australia, and we're going to continue to expand. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Bobby. Our time is up. It was an absolute pleasure speaking to you about learning about your company and the wonderful things that you had to share with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you Likewise, so much. Likewise, thank you. Appreciate it.